Hi guys, it's Sasha for NetbookNews.com and I finally got it, my BlackBerry Playbook. I bought this last week in Austin. Um, that's a 16 gigabyte, of course, Wi-Fi only version. There is no 3G version available right now. That was 499 without taxes at the Best Buy. And yeah, I'm about to do an unboxing of uh, the first tablet OS 7 inch tablet from RIM, of course. So uh, first of all, pretty small and uh, tiny little box. Wasn't expecting anything like this. And uh, yeah, here we go. Thank God. Rim invested uh, a couple of cents into a little sleeve. And well, the playbook is in there, of course. But before we're getting there, let's take a look at the rest of the accessories and what we are getting with this box. Here are just a little a couple of uh, different notifications um, uh, telling you that you need to have a Wi-Fi coverage as soon as you're switching on your BlackBerry Playbook because it's about to download a huge update and uh, you have to set it up with a, a BlackBerry ID or you even have to set up a BlackBerry ID if you don't have any. Uh, underneath this we have our PSU over here and there's a USB cable to connect it to your computer um, and then it's going to install the BlackBerry device manager so actually it's just uh, showing up under Windows as a USB mass storage so you can easily copy files uh, to the folders on your BlackBerry Playbook and we have a bunch of I guess manuals over here Let's take a look at this. Here we go. Safety and quick manual and warranty in different languages. Well, that's about it. Let's get rid of all this stuff and let's take a look at the playbook. Kind of like this little sleeve. I mean, come on, guys. This costs just cents, so uh, why, why am I not getting any sleeve when I'm buying an iPad 2 or an Asus e pet transformer? And finally, here it is. Very small, <laughs> pretty thin. Let's take a quick look around the system. There's nothing on the, on the left side. And uh, we have a micro USB, HDMI and a What's that? That, that? that should be any kind of connector for an upcoming docking station. And over here you can see that I have the 16 gigabyte version. Standing on the right side, um, there is a volume control on the top and a play and pause button in the middle. In the middle and uh, over here we have um, the power button and there is a jack for your headset. 5 megapixel camera on the back. I think it was a 3 megapixel camera on the front. Both cameras are capable of doing 1080p recordings. Uh, it, feels, it feels really pretty good. Um, it's light, it's small. And how small it is, let's compare the size to the Samsung Galaxy Tab, for example. First of all, that one feels way heavier. Um, so let's see if I can get this in here to the camera. Um, it's, it's definitely thinner than the Galaxy Tab. Uh, it appears that the bezel is a little bit wider. Um, the interesting thing is that you uh, also have a couple of touchscreen uh, gestures that you can use in the bezel. But I'm going to show you this uh, when I'm doing my walkthrough. Um, let's compare this directly. So, can you see that? It's slightly thinner than the Galaxy Tab. It's a little bit wider due to the bigger bezel. Um, when it comes to a 5-inch tablet, super phone, whatever, that's the Dell Streak Mini 5. Oh, you can see the difference, right? And what about a 10-inch tablet like the Asus 
EPET transformer. Now that should be a difference. Look at this. 10 inch device and a tiny little 7 inch first business tablet as uh, RIM is calling it. Oh, that's a huge difference. Uh, 1024 by 600 is the resolution on the Blackberry and uh, okay cut 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 1024 by 768 is the resolution on the Blackberry Playbook and uh, yeah it's running Tablet OS has one gigabyte of RAM. And I tell you what, uh, it's super zippy. I've been playing around with it a couple of days right now. But we're going to take a look at all this in my walkthrough of the new BlackBerry Playbook. I'm Sasha from NextBoardNews.com. Thanks for watching.